Okay, the most critical aspect of fishing a jerkbait is how you actually work the lure. Now, again, certain times of the year, I want different actions out of a bait. That's why they make a lot of different jerk baits out there on the market. You know, we just came out with this new KVD slash bait from Strike King. It comes in two sizes. It's got a weight transfer system, uh, so it casts really well. It's a suspending bait, and you know, it's a fantastic um, you know pre-spawn bait if you want to fish a little bit slower. But it's also a great bait for fishing. You know, like I do up in the Great Lakes for smallmouth, where you want to fish it real erratically. The number one thing about fishing a jerk bait, though, is the way that you actually work it. You know, you never want to pull your jerk bait towards the boat with a reel. The biggest mistake I see a lot of anglers make when they're fishing jerk baits is they reel the whole time they're jerking. And what happens when you're doing that is you're never allowing slack in the line and your bait stops and starts and just goes in a straight line. What I want a jerk bait to do is never go the same place twice. That's how I designed this, this slash bait to have a lot of wiggle and dart. So, I mean, it goes right, left, up, down, and it's not gonna do it in a set cadence, okay? That's what you want to trigger bass. So if I'm fishing early in the spring uh, and the water's cold, I'm gonna slow it down and yeah, I'm gonna pause it longer uh, to try to, you know, to get the fish more time to eat the bait. But the way that you work the bait is always the same. I'm gonna start with slack in my line. I'm gonna reel up, I got a little bit of slack in my line. And I'm gonna snap the rod down and I'm gonna point the rod right back at the lure. And it doesn't matter if I just pop it once and stop it or three times, the cadence is always the same. It doesn't matter if it's a long pull and a stop, a short twitch, hard, soft, it doesn't matter. The most important aspect is always start and finish with slack in the line. That's what's given that bait the freedom of movement. So just like you take a, a bait like a sexy dog to make it walk back and forth, you gotta throw a little slack to it. So with a jerk bait, it's, it's the exact same thing. I'm gonna cast the bait out there. I'm gonna start my retrieve, start and stop with that, with that rod tip, with slack in the line, pointing back at the lure. You know, two, three, whatever, it doesn't matter. That is the most important thing. And the only time you reel is in between those pops. All I'm doing is picking up slack line. If you watch my hand, I'm gonna jerk it four, five, six times for each turn of the crank. What that does is that allows that bait a ton of movement without moving very far forward, it's in the strike zone longer and you're gonna trigger a lot more bass. That's the key to it, is having the maximum amount of action and keeping it in their line of sight for as long as possible. And every time that I pop that bait down hard like that and point the rod back at it, it makes the bait jump forward, you give it that slack, it goes to the side. That's what gives it that wide travel back and forth, two feet, this way, that way. That's why a KBD slash bait has that tremendous action if you work it that way. So with any jerk bait, work it with slack in the line, start and stop. And again, you know, based on the time of the year, you're gonna have to try different retrieves, slower, longer pauses, faster, shorter twitches, different things like that to, you know, to figure out what the bass want. But day in and day out, uh, you know, that stop start motion with slack in the line is gonna give your bait a lot better action and you're gonna catch a lot more bass.